everybody welcome back to my channel i am vlogging today because i am in the mood for vlogging i have just slapped a bit of makeup on and it basically just started this vlog so i am looking very alive this morning i was actually at work until 11 o'clock so i'm now home you know i'm kind of chilling i've i've changed into my normal kind of clothes you know what i mean and this morning actually when i was going out to the car as some of you guys may possibly know my car has been vandalized twice where i live it's been parked off it's been vandalized by a gang or a certain type of person i'm not quite sure and i went out to the car this morning and it looked really different it, it had a load of like white kind of splats on the car and i was thinking has someone tried to egg my car or maybe try to put some sort of liquid on the car and i got closer and i was thinking oh my god what's happened and my whole car was still covered in what it looks like bird poo i'm guessing it's bird poo because there's a few feathers on the roof of the car and my windscreen was absolutely pitted it was like white so I managed to get that off the windscreen using my wipers and, and like the, um, what do you call it, the liquid thing if you know what I mean. I forgot the word for it but I'm sure you guys know what I mean and I managed to get it off the car however the rest of the car it looks so dirty and disgusting because of all the dirt on it anyway and me and my dad are going to go to the car wash and my dad it's obsessed with going to the drive through ones and I've only been to them twice I think with him with me because I'm too scared to go in them on my own in case it may be like break down while I'm in the in the car wash it's worst nightmare and a lot of people like to avoid them for that reason as well but I would never go in them on my own so me and my dad are going to go to the car wash around two o'clock it's like quarter past one he's just come back from work as well so like he's got a few things to do before we go out so i'm going to give my little car a nice clean in the car wash because it was in need of a clean and actually yesterday i was thinking to myself oh i might go and take the car to the car wash good job i didn't otherwise i would have wasted my money <laughs> but moving on from that what i've done this morning is i got from i got back from work i had a shower I actually had a pot noodle and I'm not the type of person to eat pot noodles really. It's got to be quite rare for me to have one. However, I did have a chicken korma pot noodle and it was actually really nice. Who's that mouse? I don't know who that is. Um, it was actually really nice and it actually tasted of a chicken korma, which is really lovely. So I had that. Then I phoned the dentist up because... I was meant to have a checkup a couple of weeks ago and my appointment actually got cancelled so I had to ring up. The joys of being an adult, you've got to book your own appointment. So I now have a checkup for tomorrow afternoon because they actually had a cancellation. So that's pretty good because yeah, my teeth are in good condition. Like my dentists always say that I've brushed them well. However, I get a lot of plaque where my fixed retainer is. It kind of disgusts him but i can't actually floss where my retainer is because like it won't go like right down if you know what i mean i can only floss my teeth a tiny bit otherwise i'll get caught in my retainer so every time i go to the dentist it's kind of disgusting i do have to get like a scale and polish but at least it's part of the of the checkup isn't it and i'll still have to pay like i now have to pay for my own checkups because i am not a student anymore I am actually so sad about that. I'm actually good, but you know, it's the joys of being an adult. I've just got to embrace that life now. But yeah, it's so lovely and warm outside again today. It's been so lovely and warm these past few days. Like, is it even summer anymore? Because I really don't know. And I am aware that the foundation does not match my neck, but who cares? It's just foundation. At least it's not too dark. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I'm going to give you all an OOTD outfit of the day. This lovely pink top is from Sheen. It's like um, a ribbed kind of long sleeve one. A fun fact, I actually made an order on Sheen 
uh, two nights ago so that is on its way so watch out for a sheen haul coming very soon and then i also have my primark jeans on yeah these are actually some of my favorite jeans from primark because they're a raw hem at the bottom however i just kind of like pull them up a bit and they're a really good fit on me and actually show my bum off as well <laughs> but yeah i love that and also i do have a few things for sale i've got a few LV purses, a coffee colour one, a white dermy one, and then like a, a rosy red interior monogram as well. And then I've also got a Dior headband as well for sale for £15 and they are £30 each. So message me if you want to buy one off me because I need them all gone, you know? Yeah, so no, that is that. And here's my outfit. I've just finished filming a video. Any guesses of what I might have filmed, guys? Uh, leave your comments also a lovely bum mark of where i've been sitting on the ottoman i need to get it fixed because one side is screwed down but this side it never wants to go down properly so that's really annoying and also my gorgeous makeup brushes and my lovely little collection of brushes but yes i have just finished filming now and i am going to be going to the car wash very soon it is my dad, so wish me luck, guys. Also, my new trainers over there. If you watched the other vlog, you would have already seen these, but I went to the Nike outlet and got these. Yeah, they came to £50 for two pairs, so I was pretty chuffed. Yeah, these are probably my favourite. How cool are they? I love them so much. But yeah, here we are. Here is the current state of my room. It's a mess. It just is a mess everywhere. A lovely rust stain on my carpet. I can't even get that out. <laughs> yeah. It's starting to get a bit messy again. Also, Scott actually bought me a couple of roses from his local florist as well. How cute are they? In my little pink bars. So cute. The lovely poo marks. Right, look at the bird feather on it. <laughs> oh my god. Fresh, clean car. It's actually shining now. I am back home now guys, the other car is all clean and the car wash, you won't believe this guys, at the very end the actual car wash actually broke down so like it just stopped and yeah, there was yeah, three cars in the car wash just sat there but yeah, luckily yeah, we went like near the end anyway so I said to dad I knew this would happen <laughs> but anyway after that he went to look at some cars because, as I've probably mentioned in a few videos, I it will be maybe getting my, I may be getting myself a car, not for like a good few months anyway, but because I use my mum's car at the moment, it's on my car and my sister Bonnie, it will be learning to drive in March because she, it, it will be turning 17 in March. So that means I will have to probably start looking. So it went to like a few car dealerships and because I am driving as a CVK at the moment, I really like it. And we were actually looking at a white, a kind of pearly colour Suzuki Swift. It was absolutely gorgeous. The alloys were like a chromey colour. They were so beautiful. I'll put like a photo up and it, yeah, the price was okay as well. Um, It was such a pretty car and it was obviously like a bit, a bigger compared to my little scenario that we've got at the moment but it was such a nice car and then to look at like a toyota i got and it's a really nice car as well and then i had to look at insurance and the insurance for the i go it was a lot cheaper but i can't believe how expensive it is for the young people to insure the cars because you look at the people who are over the age of 21 but their insurance is so cheap I, I, I don't understand that like it's actually unfair but at least by but at least by the time if my sister hopefully passes a driving test i'll be nearly turning 21 so it won't be too much of a big deal anyway anyway i am gonna first time scotty i am gonna put my keys away I'm not used to wearing like a full face of makeup these days. I feel so glam, but feel very like 
heavy with makeup on these days. I am so tired because I've been up since four. And then I've still got three days of working until four. I mean, working up at four, so that's great. Um, so, yes, I'm going to do that whilst I chill. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going about. I've got a date tomorrow, so like, I feel as if I should be eating really healthy. Um, so yeah, I'm nervous for the dentist tomorrow. It is time to make up off. Yes, the colour difference is embarrassing, but honestly, I yeah, I've got fake tanned in ages, right? And I actually received two fake tans from Dobby. Um, I really want to try them out, but. It'll have to be a day when I'm not actually like waking up really early for work because I won't have time to go like in the shower and wash it off. It was these two W tans in ultra dark. Um, I'm kind of scared to use them it, it just in case they're like they're really dark because I am super pale. But anyway, I am going to take my makeup off. I can never take my makeup off or brush my teeth or like do my skincare without watching a youtube video or like something in the background it's really weird is anybody else the same or am i just a weirdo i really don't know but it's time to make a path i've also run out of my big garden my cellar cleansing water so i'm down to using the mini ones i really need to buy myself a bigger one again but I'm using this for now. It still works. It's still the same product, but it's just in a smaller bottle. I'm actually really cold as well. Also, <laughs> excuse all these lovely stuff right here. Yes, I've just been I've just been watching Ami Charlie's uh, vlog because she actually is like a really good YouTuber. I know she's like only like 15 or 16 or something, but she's actually like really good. So I was been watching her on YouTube on my laptop. Oh my god, why does this top like swoop so down? I've actually ordered another one of these in like a baby blue because they're really comfortable and keep you really warm. They're all saying that I'm actually really cold at the moment. But anyway, I'm going to take my makeup off. I'm just going to be watching some YouTube because, you know, <laughs> I need to have something in the background. Also, tea tonight, guys. I'm so excited for tea. You'll never guess what I'm having. I'm actually having meatballs and pasta. I love meatballs so much. I never used to be a fan of beef as a child, right? And then, ever since I met Scott, I seem to be liking all these type of foods. I seem to be liking mints. I seem to be liking mushrooms. I just seem to be liking foods that I would never go, that I would have never gone near before i met him and that's kind of weird because like i feel as if in relationships when you when you're in a new kind of relationship i know it means scott have been going out for like over a year now but i feel as if you kind of change as a person like does anybody else agree because it's scott ever since he's met me he's finally grown facial hair and it's kind of cute in a way but yeah but I'm not as fussy as I used to be. I can actually eat spaghetti bolognese and like lasagna. And yeah, it's kind of weird to be able to do that now. And I've randomly become obsessed with IKEA meatballs. I'm a strange one, but <laughs> at least I like those type of foods now. Anyway, I'm taking these eyelashes off. They are very pretty though. They are the dog beauty ones in honey. They're so pretty. However, they are coming off in the inner corner, so... Yeah, that is my time to take them off. Yes. I'm up at four in the morning again, so I will be going to sleep like at nine o'clock, which I'm not happy about, but it's what I've got to do. But I won't be waking up at four o'clock for very long. I think I might only have like two weeks until I actually move department in my job because it's going to fit around me going self-employed in, in the salon. You can have my own room, which is very exciting. Um... And I'll be working at the salon on a Friday and Saturday and I will be offering makeup treatments and eyebrow and upper lip and chin waxing for now. Um, and 
is a lady who I'm actually going to be working for is so lovely and very helpful so I'm very excited to kind of start my new chapter in my life I know I've been mentioning like a little bit about me doing makeup in a room but I'm finally st like I'm finally starting up now I'm getting like a kickstart and you know it's it's becoming a bit real now so woo. yes they wish me good luck because I'm gonna need it 100% but yeah, it's like a big thing, like, Scott is now in his own baking room above a shop and now it's my turn to take the the plunge in a way. I might be, I might not be earning as much as I usually am at the moment, but you never know, it could flourish, I could be earning a, a million, who knows, I wish, but you never know these days, guys. Anyway enough of me rambling i'm going to take this off because my eyelashes are actually really annoying me now so the next day i completely forgot to end the vlog <laughs> so here is me just some makeup on into the outro i'm joking um i i've got makeup on again because i do have a makeup client and i'm also going to the dentist before that as well so for the joys of adulting you know, but it looks better ready. I've only put your little planner on. Bit right here looks so much better already. I look more normal now. I look like I have actual lips instead of fake lips. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's do that again. Oh, way better. I look like I have lips now. If you guys have enjoyed this vlog, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below, also subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.